Okay, hello everyone. This is Casey from WebBuddy. So in this uh, short tutorial video, I'm going to share with you what to do if you have a slow loading uh, website. Okay, so for beginners, I will share with you three things that you should uh, do and this will speed up your website. And the first thing is that a lot of times the main reason for a slow loading website is the images because when user upload the image to WordPress, sometimes they upload a high resolution or they did optimize the image when they upload the image to the website. So image loading is the main reason for the website slowness so i'm going to share with you one plugin that you can use um, by the way in wordpress there's a lot of image optimization plugin and which one to use uh, sometimes it will take you a long time to figure out but after my testing Numerous testing, I use this plugin called Opimo. So when you click on add new plugin and search for Opimo, it will show you. So this is the plugin that I use. I have been using other plugins also, but sometimes uh, there are issues with other plugins with my website. So, so far, I've been using this plugin for my client and for my other website and it's very effective, easy to set up. I have never encountered any errors when I'm using this uh, plugin. This plugin has a free version. So after you install, you can go to Opimo Cloud Library or just click on the setting. Click on the settings. Okay, so hi, I hope that you're enjoying the video so far. In WebBuddy, we also help to fix WordPress errors, updating WordPress plugins, speeding up your website, securing your website. We also offer monthly WordPress maintenance or ad hoc WordPress related services. So if you need our help, you can email me at casey at webbuddy.sg or visit our website webbuddy.sg. I'll leave the links in the description below. Okay, now back to the video. After you install, you can create an account with a uh, opimo a free account and you can every month you can have up to 1000 visitors quota for this free free plan if you needed more quota what you can do is that you can go to settings and under settings you can enable opimo batch and get 20,000 more visits so once you enable this batch let me show you how it looks like and you can save changes let's clear our cache and when you go to the website what the batch does is that you will see there's a batch over here that says optimized by opimo so this uh, a bit of like doing advertisement for them but you will also get more quota you can see that you can have up to twenty one thousand uh, visitors uh, quota for this plugin so let us come to the main point of what this plugin is doing for your website so first is that this Opimo will help you to load all your website images from their server. They have a few hundred server locations around the world. So when images are loading from their server, your website will load very fast if your website has a lot of images. Okay. And the images that they are loading, they also scale the images. Uh, using AI, they also do optimization on the spot. And if you click on advanced, you can also have some advanced setting over here. If you want to, you want to fine tune some of the setting, you can do so as well. But normally for me, I will just leave the setting here as a default. So it's a very easy to use a plugin. And if you are looking for a free alternative to speed up your website through image loading, then give you a try of this uh, plugin i will share the link of this uh, plugin in the video description as well 
Okay, so this is the first plugin. And the second way of uh, speeding up a website is that let's take a look at this website. Is to implement a cache system. The purpose of a cache is that you will load the content to your visitors via a cache system. So it won't pull the content from the server at that time. So that's why cache is a way to speed up your website loading to visitors. And again, in WordPress, there are a lot, a lot of cache plugins. So the one that I would recommend is something called WP Fastest Cache. Okay, so when you type in WP Fastest Cache, you can see this is the plugin that I use. So you can just go to install and activate the plugin. Then let's go to the plugin itself. So scroll down until you see WP Fastest Cache and click on setting. So I'm going through a brief uh, walkthrough on to teach you what setting you should enable. Okay, so the safest setting to enable because some setting may break your website uh, layout. So we are going for the safest uh, option to speed up your website while not affecting your website uh, layout. So first, you need to enable the cache and you also need to enable this preload. So when you enable this preload, it means that the content in your website will be preloaded before the user click on the link or click on the pages. So this is a very important setting here. So what I normally do is that I select home page, post, category, pages. This is the minimum setting and I click next. 4 page per minute and I click restart after completed. So I click finish. Then after that, don't show cache version for login user. So meaning if I log in to my website, I will be seeing the updated uh, content, not the cache version. So clear cache when there's a new post. Okay. Clear cache when uh, update post. Okay. Uh, at the moment, do not minify HTML, do not minify CSS, and do not combine them. You can enable gzip, okay, if you want to. And you can enable browser caching, okay. You can disable emojis also, so it will speed up your website by a bit. After that, click submit. Okay, so that's all. So just remember that if you are using a cache system, sometimes when you update your website, certain things may not refresh. In that case, you just need to clear cache or delete cache to see the latest version of your website. Okay, so that's two things. So the first thing is using Opimo, you can speed up the loading of images in your website and using WP Fastest Cache, you can set up a cache system in your website as well. And the third thing is that if this tool still does not speed up your website by a lot, then I suggest you highly recommend you to change or upgrade your server. So there are two web hosting that I will recommend after I try so many web hosting companies around the world. The first one is Cloudways. I've been using this one for my own website. So if you use Cloudways hosting, they are powered using cloud hosting so which means you won't be sharing your server with other website okay so the plan that i use is this one 14 dollars per month for non-e-commerce website and this 28 dollars per month for e-commerce website okay uh, of course if your website has a lot more traffic and data you can upscale to the upper tier along the way so cloudways is my first recommendation if you need super powerful uh, server and fast loading website if not you can select siteground siteground currently has a special deal you sign up a hosting you can get a free domain so siteground uh, hosting is cheaper initially in the first month only two dollar 99 cents per month or four dollar 99 cents per month if you want to go for unlimited website but do take note that after the first year, it will revert back to the original price. So all in all, Cloudways is still a good uh, offer 
if you are looking for a long-term hosting solution. So I'll be also linking to my Cloudways hosting tutorial and my SiteGround affiliate link in the description so you can check them out uh, if you are keen to consider a faster hosting server. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to post in the questions area, comments area below. Uh, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video. Thank you.